Weather rate certified most accurate forecast in Central Texas. This is Fox 44 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. The rain continues to fall here in the central part of the state, and some of this rainfall has been relatively heavy here, especially over the last half hour or so. But again, this is the back edge of our storm system finally pulling far enough away that we'll start to see clearing skies. But right now, if you are headed out this evening, uh, just be aware. You're going to need the umbrella. We've got rain from Corsicana right on down through Waco and kind of tailing not too far away from the, the Round Rock area. It's moving pretty fast off to the north and to the east at about 30 miles per hour, but you can see it's been pretty steady, at least here in McLennan County, over toward the Lake Sea, uh, Lakeview area. There's west and as you work your way down toward Moody, all looking at some light to moderate rain. Again, nothing out there severe. Haven't seen any claps of thunder either, so again, that is some good news, but you notice where that rain continues down toward Salado, and then quiet conditions the farther back off to the west you go. Now, our storm system, that front is well down to the south of us, but behind it, we talked about that post frontal uh, rain, and that's what we're seeing here across the region. Once we get this line moving through, we'll start to see the clouds clear out, and a pretty cold night will be expected. How much rainfall here over the last 24 hours? Getting close to three tenths of an inch in the Waco area, a third of an inch up toward Mejia, a little bit more down toward College Station there, about a half an inch, and not much as you work your way over toward Brownwood and the Comanche area. Temperatures, well, we didn't even get out of the 40s today. Yeah, that's way, way below average. We should be in the mid 70s. We're in the mid 40s. It is 44 in Mejia, 43 in Waco. Temperatures low to mid 40s right now from Colleen over toward the Temple area. So, our future cast by 7 o'clock, most of the rainfall will be off to our east and starting to wind down just a little bit. And that'll continue to push off to uh, the east at about 30 miles an hour. By midnight, Expect skies to begin to uh, clear out here in our area, and that will set up a very cold start to the day. We talked about this at the top of the newscast, how we are under a freeze warning. This is why. Temperatures in the upper 20s to the lower 30s in most areas. High pressure continues to move in, so a lot of sunshine tomorrow, but it's going to be cold sunshine with highs in the lower 50s, so a little bit warmer than it was out there today. And then the high begins to slide a little bit farther to the east. We're going to be on the back side of the high, and you can see our wind out of the south. That'll start to kick in as we go throughout the day on Friday. But again, we'll start off Friday in the 30s, and that is a chilly start. You know the drill. Another jacket or two needed as we go throughout the day on Friday with temperatures climbing into the upper 50s and lower 60s. But let's talk about that freeze warning, which includes Waco, Temple, and Killeen. That kicks in actually at 1 o'clock in the morning, runs through 10 tomorrow morning, where temperatures will be in the upper 20s and lower 30s. Anything you want to save outside, some tender vegetation or some uh, flowers, you either want to cover those up or pull them inside. We do have that uh, weather moving uh, over to the east of us tomorrow, talking about the cold weather. And that's where that uh, freeze watch is in effect right now. Eventually, that'll be upgraded. But tonight, though, freeze warning in effect. We're looking at those showers throughout the evening, then clearing skies. Windy conditions, 32 degrees will be the low temperature tomorrow morning. And then mostly sunny, a breezy day tomorrow, about 52 degrees. And, of course, we're not going to forget about Halloween and the trick-or-treaters. It's going to be clear, very quiet tomorrow night, but very cold. 49 degrees at 6, dropping to 39 at 10 o'clock. Clear skies. Make sure the kids have the layers on, the heavier coat under the costumes. You'll be happy, and they'll be happy, too, because it's going to be cold. And then warmer weather. On the way, we're talking upper 50s to lower 60s. And again, don't forget Sunday to fall back. We uh, fall back in an extra hour of sleep. Temperatures next week in the 60s and 70s, and kind of the same story down toward Bryan and College Station. Looking good for the game on Saturday, and not looking too bad either on Sunday with temperatures in the mid 60s.